Hello everyone. Last week Microsoft has released the remote desktop client app for Android and iOS devices. In this video we will see how to connect to a PC using the remote desktop client app on both iOS and Android devices. I will be demonstrating using my Nexus 7 and iPod Touch 4G. Obviously remote desktop on the small screen of iPod is not practical but uh, this is only a connection demo and the procedure is going to be same for iPad or uh, other iOS devices. First thing is obviously to go to play store or uh, app store on your device and search for Microsoft remote and install the uh, remote desktop app by Microsoft. This is the app you want to install and uh, this is in the app store. I have already installed the applications. I failed a couple of times before successfully connecting from the applications. But it turns out that the procedure is fairly simple. We will first start from the PC and then look into the apps. Now to connect to your PC using remote desktop client, we have three steps to go through. First one is to find out the PC details. Second one is to configure PC to accept the incoming connections. Third one is to enter the settings in the remote desktop client, that is your iOS or Android device and then connect. Before that, make sure you are logged in as an administrator because only an administrator has the privileges to configure a PC to accept incoming connections. Also note that the remote desktop is not supported by all editions of Windows. Mine is Windows 7 Professional and it supports remote desktop connections. Check if your Windows edition can accept incoming connections or not. The important thing we need here is the IP address of your PC. This is an unique identification that is assigned to your PC when you are connected to any network. To find out your IP address, click on the Windows button, type CMD and hit enter. This will open the command prompt, type IP config and hit enter. Note down the IP address shown against IPv4 address, this is the number you want to note down. In my case it is 10.0.0.4. Note down this number. This is the only address you will need if you are connected directly to the internet. But if you are connected uh, to a router, you will need your router's IP address as well. To find this, go to Google and type uh, what is my IP address. Type what is my IP and uh, Google will show your IP. This is the IP you want to note down. If uh, Google doesn't show or show the IP address, you can uh, visit this link what is my ip.com and it will show your uh, IP address your, this is your router's IP address note down this also These IP addresses keep changing each time you connect to your router or uh, each time your router connects to the internet unless you have a, a static IP address. So each time you want to use remote desktop, uh, check your new IP address. If your PC and your Android or iOS devices are in the same network, then the first one will do and it will be faster. The second one can be used whether the devices are on the same network or anywhere else. So depending on where you want to connect from, choose which one you want to use. Now to configure the PC, click on start and type system. And select system from the results. You can also 
also get to this window by right clicking on computer and uh, selecting properties. Go to remote settings. Here normally it will don't allow connections to this computer is selected. Now choose the third option. Allow connections only from computer standing remote desktop with network level authentication. Select this option. Click apply. Okay. In the remote settings, uh, your login will be added by default to accept incoming connections. But if you want other users to also accept incoming connections, you can do that from here. You can select more users from here. That is all you have to do on the PC if you are connecting from within the network, that is using the first IP address. If you are planning to use from a different location, that is using your using the router's IP address, then you will have to configure port forwarding in your router settings page. Check, check your router manual to know how to configure port forwarding. Here I am using a Netgear router. Go to port forwarding, then add a custom service. Here you can give any name. I'm saying Nexus RD connection TCP. Then starting port to double three eight nine. Ending port is also going to be double three eight nine because we want only that port to be forwarded. In the server IP address give your PC's IP address that is 10 in my case 10.0.0.4 so what this is doing is whenever any incoming remote desktop connection is there it will be forwarding that to this IP address Say apply that's all now the configuration on the PC is done Back to the device, we'll first have a look at the Nexus remote desktop uh, app on the Nexus tab. So here is the remote desktop app. Currently there are no desktops uh, configured. So we'll configure it my PC right now. Click on plus. Then you'll have to enter the host name. and the login credentials so in the host name I first entered my PC name and it did not accept when I enter the IP address it uh, right away accepts the connection so we are here uh, I'll, I, I'll enter my IP address the one we have seen I'll enter 10.0.0.4 so that's the IP address of my PC. I'm connecting from within the network, so I'm using this IP address. But if you're connecting from a different location, uh, we'll, we'll have to use the Rotos IP address. The other login credentials will be the same. And then enter your login credentials. Done that. Done. Done. That's all we have to do. Now just click on this and it will be connected. It will show a security certificate. Say trust and it's connected. And the PC will be locked. Now I have the PC on my next step. Now we'll look at the look at the iOS device. For disconnecting from the Nexus, I will have to press the back button twice. First time it will show a message, when you, when you press the second time it will be disconnected. So, it is disconnected. Now on the Apple device, 
same procedure here we'll say re new remote desktop in PC name we'll enter the IP address username and password then just click on these details and it will be connected so it's connected now for disconnecting on the iOS device we click on this uh, status bar then disconnect that's about uh, how to connect from iOS or Android devices thanks for watching bye now con coming back to the Nexus tab uh, I'll connect again now if I connect from the PC if I log in from the PC this will be disconnected here so that is connected now so in here you see the tab is disconnected because I have directly logged into the laptop Connecting again now. So here if you want to use the keyboard you have to click on the keyboard here and the Android keyboard will pop up. So now we are browsing on the PC using the Nexus tab but uh, we cannot scroll directly here for scrolling we have to use this then a small marker comes up you have to place our finger on the marker and then start scrolling if you want to move that uh, marker double click on that then move that marker so if you want to scroll place your finger on the marker then scroll because if you directly try to scroll it will select the text so if you want to scroll you have to use this marker and uh, when you click on that uh, status bar you will a small uh, overlay will come on the bottom of the screen you can see the shift control alt and uh, of windows keys when you click on this it will change to mouse mode you can see the mouse here right now this has changed to mouse mode so if I, if I move my finger the mouse will move 
you can see that there. So if I want to scroll now, I'll have to use it as a mouse. I can use the scroll bars now. If I'm clicking here, it is taking a mouse click here now. This is how we connect and use the remote desktop app from the tab. Thanks for watching.